reckon this Norwegian driving prodigy can rightly lay claim to being one of the greatest drivers in the world. At just 17, he became the youngest driver to ever score points in the World Rally Championship. And now at 23, he's the reigning intercontinental rally champ. Today, I want to see exactly how good he is by pitting my track skills against his rally skills in a trio of high-speed driving disciplines. Andreas and I have history, of course. We first met two years ago when I was his co-driver in a navigational rally. If you need to puke, be quicker. We can yeah, OK. okay. My stomach couldn't take it. And hopefully he's forgiven me. As a, as a treat, um, I've lined up three challenges for us to do today in three different cars, and I'm really hoping that I will beat you in at least one of them. As I see, there's some gravel involved in, in the first part of this triathlon, so, uh, yeah, I think my chances are good. Ha ah, don't be so sure, Andreas. Event one is Rallycross, a tricky lap of half tarmac, half gravel to test how well a driver can adapt to changing terrain. We'll use one of the best toys we know, a rage buggy. It has a race spec roll cage, rear wheel drive, and a 200 horsepower Kawasaki bike engine. Well, first of all, I've never driven such a car, um, and it looks a little bit like a rally car, so I should feel a little bit at home. Cool, so you think you'll beat me? I hope so, I really hope so. Andreas is strapped in and ready, and this is the first opportunity I'm going to get to have a look at what I'm up against. And surely Andreas is just going to pot around and find his way around the track. Woo Bike engines have big power but little torque, so you need to keep the revs high. This engine runs so high I can barely hear myself. <laughs> Flames out the back of the exhaust! The Rage Buggies was uh, so nervous to drive, especially on this type of track when it's uh, tarmac and gravel all together. Oh, so fast. <laughs> you barely hold on to the steering. He's never visited the circuit before, but instantly you can see the mark of a great driver. <laughs> too quick for my liking, but not too quick. He learns the one mile track almost immediately. So this boy is 23 years old. He has done two flying laps and he's absolutely flat to the tank. It is very impressive. Time for the stopwatch. <laughs> Ringing the revs out of that thing up the hill. Specialist rallycross cars can get around here in 48 seconds. How close can Andreas get to that in a mere toy, I wonder? Oh, 49.6. I missed the gear. Oh, uh, you <laughs> missed a gear? Yeah, I'm happy with my run except for that, but um, yeah, I'm really interested to see what you can do now, Vicky. Yeah, well, I mean, we're talking, you know, egg timers and calendars to, to time me. You don't, you don't need this little stopwatch. <laughs> And then it was my turn. There was no way on this earth that I expected to beat Andreas. You ready? Go. Find him, grind him! <laughs> <laughs> Not the best start to a warm-up ever. Oh, missed the gear already. <laughs> a tentative start. Skitting around a lot on the gravel. I had to sort of wrestle with the wheel when it was coming from the gravel onto the tarmac because those tyres just bit into the tarmac. The wheel just snatches for grip. I think tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up with some sore shoulders. Just stop that girl. <laughs> Time to start the clock before my strength runs out. Ah, she's definitely more aggressive. The wheel's fighting in my hands. Definitely went for it. I really wish it was power steering. She has 15 seconds to go. Oh. So, Andreas, what have I done? You missed the line a little bit, so you were a little bit too aggressive, but uh, you definitely have the guts. Uh, so, you managed 51.3. 
cool. So that brings you 1.7 seconds behind my best time. <sighs> but it was good. It was good. Round one to you, Andreas. Well done, my man. Excellent. Well done. So satisfied. Okay, here we go. We're going to give it the big one up this one. 